How does the new PvP system work and what does this mean for the future of Sea of Thieves? Hi, my name is Hippo TC and welcome back to another Sea of Thieves guide video. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button to please our YouTube overlords, comment down below and smash that subscribe button. I also stream live over on Twitch every week and you can find my schedule and links in the description below. That being said, let's jump into the video. With the launch of Season 8, Sea of Thieves introduces on-demand PvP through a new mechanic in which you pick a side of the battle for Sea of Thieves between the Pirate Lord and Flameheart. This new progression is tracked in both Pirate Milestones, with two new things being added, the Guardian and the Servant, and two new Reputation Trees being added as well. This new progression system has new things to unlock, unique cosmetics and curses, trinkets and loads of new things for you to do all focused around pvp this is how it all works on your ship you now have an hourglass called the hourglass of fate this is where you must decide what side you will be fighting for during the on-demand pvp here you can pick the guardians of fortune or the servants of flame once you've decided you will vote and you and your crew will be aligned to that side the front of your ship will also indicate to others what side you are fighting for also, keep in mind that you can still vote up your emissary in addition to voting on the Hourglass of Fate, giving you more risk but also more reward in the process. Now, at this stage, you have two options. You can either go on the defense or you can go on the offense. For example, you can continue with your adventure like you normally would in Sea of Thieves by completing voyages, taking on world events, or yes, even fishing. However, you will be defending your side and at any given point, another enemy player ship can spawn on you and you will be locked into a fight. You can increase your ranking on the defense by collecting treasure, giving you more allegiance. The more valuable the treasure on your ship while you are defending, the more your hourglass allegiance will increase. The other option you have is you can go on the offense. You do this by opening the war map, which is Rare's take on matchmaking. You vote for it, head to open water, and your ship will dive beneath the waves looking for an opponent to take on. This is an incredible experience and a really cool way for matchmaking to happen inside of the adventure mode. You can move all about your ship, prepare for the fight ahead, and check out your surroundings while you wait. Once an enemy crew is found, you will rise from the seas and face off with your enemy. Whether you've chosen to go on the offense or the defense, once you are in battle, you will have an out of bounds added to your map and will be forced to fight your opponent. If you decide to run, you'll be notified that you are going out of bounds, your hourglass will start to shake and crack, and eventually the hourglass will blow up, causing you to lose. This means once you are in a fight, you cannot run. However, if you do win the fight, your hourglass goes up in value, you increase your streak, and you increase your allegiance. When you're ready to leave the on-demand matchmaking, you must go to the nearest outpost and vote it down, similar to how you would vote down an emissary flag. With each victory, you increase your hourglass and your streak. If you manage to get a streak of four, you will become what Rare is calling a faction champion, and this will be indicated to everyone else on the map, meaning you will become a high value target and you should expect a fight because if they manage to sink you, they will get more allegiance and a lot more hourglass value for defeating a faction champion. One very cool feature about being a faction champion is you have the option to go against larger crews and bigger ships. So if you enjoy a good challenge, then you are really going to enjoy this. This is a great feature, especially for all you out there who just love to get your sweat on and get into some intense PvP fights. With all that said, with all the focus on PvP for this new season, now would be a good time to refresh your skills. I've created over the years quite a few PvP tips and tricks videos and posted lots of gameplay videos for you to check out. Another thing that you can do to improve outside of playing the game would be to watch Sea of Thieves streamers. I know this last tip might seem a little self-serving, but I stream this game every day, every week, and have thousands of hours in this game. I love helping the community and answering any questions you may have about the game. You also have the chance to see me take on fights, and whether win or lose, you can always learn something from that. This new update is the biggest update to the game that we have ever seen, period. And I couldn't be more excited for it. Let me know what you think about Season 8 and on-demand PvP in the comments below, and I can't wait to see you all out on the seas.